one of the first dash cams on the market with a large OLED display, and a GPS, and a bunch of other good features. Looking for a reliable budget device to record your driving adventures? This might be the right for you! Hey, welcome everyone, my name is Michael and on this channel we review cool tech, often gadgets which are quite reliable and won't break your pocket. Here's something interesting by the company Asdom, who managed to pack OLED screen, GPS and excellent image quality within $69, the price at which this M05 model retails on Amazon. As usual, my task is to present you the hardware, the software and shooting modes and share a lot of footage and tell you the story about my experience with it so far. The box is really superb and certainly raises the expectations a lot. It is great to see well-packed, budget-friendly product, gives us the confidence that not too many corners are cut, and I sincerely hope this is the case with that dash cam. Good moment to mention that I indeed noticed no corners cut at all, quite the opposite, if I didn't know the price is around just $70, I was going to expect something from the range around 90 to 100. There's a detailed user manual included, bunch of cable holders and a pry tool, a dual port charger and heads up for that. The connector standard used here is micro USB, a little unusual for dash cams because often they use mini USB, but since in terms of technology it makes no difference and on top of that is quite a common standard, I like it. Great way to mount the dash cam on the windshield. There's quality 3M adhesive included, as well as this screen folio, which you pre install to your windshield and makes the removal of the M05 model very easy and without the need to use extra tools. This approach is used by 70Mai, another manufacturer of dash cams, with both their camera motors so far, and since I saw it for the first time an year ago, it is something I often use for attaching any kind of dash cam with adhesive. Let's look at the technical side now. MSTART 8336 processor, which handles the maximum resolution of 1080p, SC2363, which is a 1 3rd inch sensor, 170 degree wide angle lens with f by 108 aperture and embedded GPS. There's also a gravity sensor, parking mode, built-in 400mAh battery and software that you can run on your PC and replay the GPS data. Missing are a Wi-Fi connection, respectively a phone app and H.265 encoding, but none of these are deal breakers. The Wi-Fi lag is fine because anyways, large files take time to get transferred and that often increases the price of any device, and the H.265 is nice to have, but due to its nature of not being royalty-free, we can well understand the slow pace of adoption. Installation process is simplified, also well described in the user manual, find a suitable place, and due to the lack of horizontal angle corrections, make sure it is as close to the center of the windshield as possible. The vertical correction is there, so once installed you can fine-tune for optimal viewing angle, find a good place for the cable and there you go. Having a dual port USB charger is a great feature because you have the ability to simultaneously run the dash cam and charge your smartphone. I mentioned the parking mode and yeah, that means you can have the camera recording events when your car is not powered on, during the night for instance when the camera is not in active recording mode. Using the motion sensor, the latest AZ Dome dash cam will notice any movement happening in front of the car and record accordingly. If you count on the embedded battery, this can record up to 20 minutes of footage and if you need a more reliable solution, make sure to add a hardware kit. Most of these are dirt cheap nowadays, usually no more than 10 to 15 dollars and easily connect to your fuse box. Even for a non-technical person, there's a great chance for getting the installation successful. The menus that you already see and you can access using the touch screen. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to mention, besides being bright, this 3-inch OLED display is touch. You're gonna like this kind of navigation, finally something which is well developed and adapted for a large display. You have some picture controls, resolution adjustments, exposure compensation, even a menu showing you the availability and the connectivity to GPS satellites. 
and since there is GPS, we have real-time information about your current speed. Besides, you can use the PC software for looking at more detailed GPS data and study the directions of moving if that is necessary. Lighting up the display is extremely easy, takes just a tap. And in daylight, you can see quite a lot. I have to say that from the budget segment, this screen is perhaps the best one you can find on a dash cam. Well, on the other side, the relatively large size adds bulkiness to the whole package and the AZ Dome M05 is everything but discreet. Also, very weird angle of placement, most of the time it's fine. Honestly, I can see this being best fit for trucks. The more aerodynamic a car is, the worse the viewing angle from the inside would be. Maximum resolution is not just Full HD, it is in fact 1296p, which is 4x3 aspect ratio and doesn't bring much except showing you more from the sky and from the car interior, both on top and the bottom. Which means that Full HD is sort of the maximum usable resolution for cars. As for footage, gotta say, wonderful! Excellent aperture, which is f by 1.8 with 2 megapixel sensor and these immediately make this dashcam a competitor even for the low light king, the Viovo A119 series, where the aperture is slightly better, being at f by 1.6. Daylight footage is also bright, sharp and has good distribution of light, and even if you drive with the sun towards you, visibility remains good. Automatic loop recording with choices of 1 to 3 minutes length, super easy emergency lock button, and better GPS, good video quality, decent microphone, and excellent touchscreen. I think all these advantages can easily make us forget the small little things a tech geek like me would wish to see in order to get the perfect dash cam. So we have to live with a little weird angle of the screen, no H.265 encoding, no Wi-Fi and battery instead of capacitor. But hey, you know what? I was testing this camera during my trip in Greece with average daily temperatures of 26 degrees Celsius and often the car being exposed in the sunshine during the afternoons. Apparently this camera is safe. And, you know, this motto makes me ask you one question. What do you prefer? A large OLED screen or a dash cam which is as discreet as possible? Let me know using the comments below. I'll keep on enjoying the summer to you. Wishes for a wonderful day with a lot of sunshine. Look around for a discount code and make sure to support the channel by using the links below and at least maybe subscribing. My name is Michael, I'll be back in a few days with more cool tech. See you around!